Hello friends, this is Sister Gwendolyn Song. Welcome to our news broadcast today, the Sackcloth and Ashes News Report. I just want to say that I did pray before organizing this broadcast today to be able to present this information to you in a way that would stir your heart to pray and not bring the spirit of fear, which is one of the predominant spirits during the tribulation period, along with murder and hatred. And my job as a watchman on the wall is to share what the Lord had asked me to share. And I don't care about views or popularity. I care nothing about that. I only want to point the way to the Lord Jesus Christ and help to educate others about the need to repent and to draw more closer to him more than ever before. And I'm on here today to share with you what I believe is a prophetic dream of the upcoming plans for the U.S. and how we as believers can look to the hope in Jesus no matter what the enemy throws our way. And what I'm seeing now is a spirit of division and confusion amongst believers. And that can be rectified with sitting at the feet of Jesus in prayer and fasting and separating oneself from the confusion that's out there. Now, in this dream that I was shown, this was last week, I was shown a period of time, and it was a season of the year, and this period lasted for about three months. In this season, here in the USA, jihadists went home to home and church to church, slaughtering Christians with the sword. Fear had gripped the land, and no one had any peace any longer. And at the end of the dream, I was shown a majestic eagle. And it was soaring, flying in the air like a ballerina, graceful and free. And I knew it was the USA in this dream, friends. And then I heard the Holy Spirit speak this phrase to me. He said, Arab Spring. And for those of you who are not familiar with that phrase, Arab Spring, it just briefly I'll say that it was a series of, of anti-government protest, uprising, armed rebellions that spread across the Arab world in the early 2010s. Now, Jesus did explain this hatred that the world will have towards his disciples in Matthew chapter 24, verse 9. He, he, he spoke to them and he said that they will deliver you up to tribulation and kill you. And he was referring to Christians, to his disciples. They will be hated by all nations, he said, for my name's sake. And this is only one of the signs that the end is near. This hatred, this spirit of murder because of our love for Jesus Christ. And some of the other things that I have been shown by the Lord in prophetic dreams is the public execution of Christians jihadists coming to Christians' homes early in the morning, right as the sun is breaking, and they would get Christians out of bed, startle them, and round them up. And in other dreams, the Lord had shown me jihadists. They would come up to a hospital in pickup trucks. They would have couches on the back of their pickup trucks and machine guns, coming there to the hospitals and setting up camp outside and killing those who could not defend themselves. This is the spirit of Antichrist, friends. This is the end of the church age, and what a testimony that we need our Savior more than ever. And who would want to be in a world run by such hatred and violence? And yet this is what the Word of God says is coming at the end. But there is hope, friends, and I want to give you that today. I want to impart hope on you that there's not a false hope. It's not a false hope like the Antichrist will offer. There is eternal hope in Jesus Christ. Greater is he who is in us than he who is in the world. His perfect love cast out all fear. And he will be right there, right beside his people who uh, will be here during this phase of the end. He will pour out his peace and give you the strength to endure till the end. Friends, do not deny Jesus Christ. Do not live for him today and then at the end, at the last moment, deny him and give up 
your overcomers crowned. It's very important that you hear me on this today. Do not give up your place in eternity by denying Jesus as Lord or by willingly taking a mark upon your body that will pledge allegiance to the false Christ. Let us run with patience the race that is set before us and let us be counted worthy to escape those things which are coming to the earth. Whether you believe in a pre-trib, mid-trib, or post-trib, all of those different uh, eschatological doctrines, that is not what this message is about. It's about the saving grace of a merciful king who promises that he will never leave us. He will never forsake us. He will be with his children till the very end. Friends, pray for our enemies that the love of Christ will also transform their lives and let them see it in you. Until next time, friends, good day.